when is the best time to study mathematics? When is it? If you have the ability to ask that question, that means that you have a lot of options. That means that you have time in your life for mathematics. And my advice is take that time and use it and spend some time every single day, even just a little bit of time focusing on mathematics. It keeps your mind sharp. It will help you if you're in school and you're trying to learn math or you're taking a math class. It will help you if you're studying something related to math. I think it's so good for you. It really is. You know, people do crossword puzzles all the time or they do other little mental things to stimulate them. You know, board games are really popular. People get together and they play strategy games and board games and, you know, it gets their mind thinking. But I think there's nothing that compares to mathematics. Nothing will give you more clarity of thought, in my, in my opinion. Maybe going for a good run or working out, that's also going to help. But as far as studying or mental activities, I think math is up there at the top. Obviously, right? This is the Math Sorcerer YouTube channel, so I'm going to say that, right? I'm, I'm pro-math. So, so when is the best time? Let's talk about that because I think that a lot of people don't know what the best time is. So I'm going to give you my take and I have some theories for it. So I think the best time to do math is in the morning, if you can, right? If you can do math in the morning. And the reason is I feel that at night, you know, I'm tired. My mind is tired. I go to bed, I wake up, and sometimes I feel like, you know, if I'm really tired, I wake up and I feel refreshed. I have my mind back. I have a little bit of coffee and I feel good. You know, I'm ready to go. My mind is open. My mind is ready, ready to go. Paul Erdos used to say that. My mind is open. Paul Erdos was a famous uh, Hungarian mathematician who, I don't know if he had a home. He would wander from university to university. We'd knock on people's doors, other mathematicians, and say, I'm here. My mind is open. You know, let's talk about mathematics. So yeah, he probably did math all the time. I'm sure he did. But for us mere mortals, I think the morning is a good time. And the morning is also more manageable. Like if you have a schedule where you have to get up every day and go to work or go to school, if you just get up a little bit earlier, you can spend maybe an extra 20 minutes or 15 minutes just working on math. It makes a big, big difference. Before I used to have uh, tests when I was a college student, I would always get up early and study. I would get up like at four or five in the morning before my test and I would make coffee. I would have a big breakfast, you know, a bunch of eggs and toast and maybe even some bacon and a big cup of coffee with milk and lots of sugar, you know, a really, really big meal, you know, feel good food, make myself feel good, give myself some energy for the mental hurdles that lay before me that were mathematics, right? You're going to do math. You need to be well fed. You need to be focused and ready. And I felt that those were very productive study sessions. I had a friend in college. He was a big guy. His name was Jim. He was huge. He was like a bodybuilder. And he would get up, at, I think it was three in the morning, and then he would go to the gym, and then he would study and then go to class. I mean, just very, very strict. Now, I'm, I'm not that hardcore. I don't get up at three in the morning. But I think if you're a college student and you're trying to find some extra time to study and you're looking for the best time to study, I think just adding just even just a few minutes is going to make a difference. It's going to make a difference. So yeah, those are my thoughts on on the best time to study. You know, you can study other times during the day. You know, whenever you can is is also a good answer. If you have a busy life, if you have a job, maybe you have kids, maybe you're older and you have a lot of responsibilities, it's really hard. It, it's really hard to work and go to school. Props to everyone watching this video who has a job and is going to school. It is something that I didn't do. I didn't do that. I, I, I was able to, you know, quit my job and take out loans and go to college. I took out a bunch of debt and went to college. It worked for me. I'm not saying you should do that. That's just the path that I took, uh, you know, taking out a bunch of loans and going to college. But if you're not taking that path, then you might have to work and that makes it harder. So hopefully this video has helped you a little bit. If you found any value in this content at all, and you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button if you want to. If not, that's okay too. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. I've got 
courses there on calculus, algebra, trigonometry, some proof writing courses, all kinds of stuff. You can learn tons of mathematics with those courses. There's just so much math out there. And if you have any advice for anyone, leave a comment in the comment section below. I think the key takeaway from this video is that, you know, the best time to study is whenever you can, but I, I do think in the morning, you're a lot more refreshed and just things stick better. I feel like anytime I've done math in the morning, it just, it just sticks, right? It just sticks a lot better. And I just feel like I learn so much more. There's something about doing math, like you know, waking up, eating breakfast, having some coffee, and then just sitting down and just doing mathematics. It's just such a great way to, to start your day, you know, and I don't know. Hopefully someone tries it out there. So if you're watching this video, try it if you haven't tried it. If you if you study in the morning, let me know. Leave a comment. And if you think another time is better or, if, or something else has worked for you, leave a comment below. You know, I've also had late night study sessions, you know, 2 a.m. study sessions, you know, before a test, eating pizza with friends and really grinding through some proofs. Those were... I don't want to say dark times, but those were very hard times. I, I prefer the the light studying in the morning and then going on with my day. It's a lot less stressful, and you know I'm not up late, uh, you know burning the midnight oil as they say. So yeah, what do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.